Hello, Nikolai from Evosep. We have previously designed and built our own pump, but this time we wanted to see if there was anything available already that we could use for our system. And what we found is this nice little syringe pump from a company called ASI and local scientific instruments who are based in California. These pumps come with different specifications, but we have decided to use a 9,000 PSI pump with a stroke volume of 48 microliters for the high pressure system. And for the low pressure system, we'll be using a 3,500 PSI pump with a stroke volume of 120 microliters. So these pumps actually performed quite nicely when we initially tested them. Um, however, we have modified the pump a little bit to accommodate some of our needs. And we've also worked with ASI uh, just to up the performance slightly. So for, first and foremost, we have removed the check valves that comes with the pumps as default. And on the high pressure pump, we have replaced these with 1 16th of an inch industry standard ports. And for the low pressure pump, we have completely removed the bottom port and only have a, a, a port at the top of the pump head. And this would be a quarter inch industry uh, standard flat bottom port. We'll also be using a stepper motor with an encoder in order to implement some of the functionality that we need from this pump. We'll not be using any of the housing or the pump electronics uh, that comes with the pump. Um, so we need to be able to implement some custom functionality and uh, to do this we have decided that it's uh, best that we do our own pump PCB uh, and our own firmware. So Jesper is currently prototyping this and it'll be another two or three weeks before he has the uh, first version of the prototype ready. And there might also be some, some bugs uh, in the initial firmware. So in the meantime, uh, Lasse has made this very crude and very quick and dirty mock-up of our pump electronics. It's basically just an Arduino that can run a simple flow control. We have the stepper drivers and we're able to connect the low pressure flow sensors and the high pressure flow sensor. Um, and this is by no means pretty. Uh, it's by no means stable, but it's actually good enough for us to build our first lab prototype. Uh, and this will be the topic for my next video blog. So stay tuned and see you next week.